Hello! Today we will continue our lectures about the descriptive geometry. This lecture focuses on several topics, and the first theme that we will consider is the visibility of points in space. As we know, all objects in space are a set of an unlimited number of points. To draw an object or even a line on a plane, you need uh, to project every point belonging to this object on the plane. It is not always possible to draw all the points belonging to an object on the plane, because the objects are three-dimensional, volumetric. Points representing the front part of the object are projected on the plane visible, and points that are on the back of the object become invisible. They are closed in front of the points. To make a drawing visual and easy to understand, you need to, you need to determine the visibility of lines and points in the drawing. In this case, the projections of invisible lines are represented by dashed lines with a thickness 0.5 mm. In orthogonal projection, the direction of the rays of vision coincides with the projecting lines. If two points lie on the same line of sight, then one of them is covered by the other. In this case, the point located closer to the observer will be visible, and the point, point located further from the observer uh, will be invisible for us. Such points are called competing points. There are rules of visibility of points located in space. Of the two horizontally competing points on the horizontal projection, the point that is located above is selected. From two frontly competing points on the frontal projection, the point that is located closer to the observer is visible. From two competing points on the profile plane of projection, visible is the point which is located to the left. In the complex drawing on this uh, on this our picture, we have two points, point A and B, competing in the top view. Point A will be visible in this view, since, since campaigning these points in the front view. We see that it is located above point B. In the front view, of the two competing points C and D, for this view, point D will be visible, since comparing uh, these points in the top view, we see that it is closer to point C. Let's discuss an example. Determine the visibility of the edges of the S a, B, C pyramid. Uh, we can see this pyramid on the drawing. From the drawing, it can be seen that pyramid has a slope to the right. What can we see about this drawing? First of all, the lines bounding the outline of the drawing are always visible. Second, to determine the visibility of the edges A, B, and 
see is in the front view, we take two frontally competing points belonging to the edges. It is point one and two. The second, uh, the third. We can see that point one is closer to the observer than the point two. It means for us that in the front view it is visible. And the H C S, the H of pyramid uh, C S, is also visible for us. The A B H is now invisible for us. The visibility of the edges C, B and A, S in the top view is determined using horizontally competing points 3 and 4. Since point 3 is higher than point 4 on our drawing, uh, uh, point 3 will be visible in the top view and the edge AS will also be visible for us. We depict the visible lines with the contour lines with thickness 1 mm and the invisible lines with the straight lines with thickness 0 0.5 mm. So, now we know how points and lines are transformed in space. Let us talk about planes located in space.